Hey, what up, Z Clan? How you doing? Welcome to my new series for Fallout 76. Well, no, it's not new; it's a new approach. Basically, I did uh, review all of your uh, feedback, you know, for the first five episodes. Uh, to be honest, I wasn't planning to do these episodes, but it turns out it's kind of entertaining. So, uh, for the upcoming uh, episodes, I'm gonna do sort of editing and cut out the scavenging part, the traveling part, and something, you know. Uh, that might be not that super entertaining and try to make them uh, not 40, 50, 1 hour long but 20 slash 30 minutes maximum 40 if it's something like really cool uh, so I would really appreciate your help here and uh, help me to understand what is going to be the best way to build this sort of series so it will be fun for you to watch and pretty much I will know what to do so I really hope here for your feedback so Comment down below and uh, hope you're gonna enjoy the show. And if you're new, don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell, smash that like. Now, let's go. Hey, hey, we're back. You know, after that glitch and all those glitches, I decided I'm gonna do a new playlist. I'm gonna call it the Fallout 76 Glitch Book. Or if you have any bright ideas, let me know. Oh, nice, another drop. Cool. All right, let's see if the robots are gonna attack me or not. But definitely, I'm not gonna show any more em emojis to other players because you saw where that led to. The guy wouldn't move and just shove in his finger. Are you gonna attack me? I'm gonna shoot your eyes off. Oh, there you go. <laughs> he actually decided to do something about it. Or maybe that was because it was the night time and he didn't want to do anything. He was like, ah, uh, screw that guy. I got better things to do. I hate the circle, man. Oh, gunpowder. Sweet. Come on. By the way, I'm like super injured. I need to go find myself a... A thingy where I can recover all of my stuff. Okay, let's say hello. Hi. Alright guys, uh, let me go make some more... Oh crap. Oh, I thought that was a hole. Let me go craft some more water and stuff. What the hell did I get hit by? Like... Come on. I'm very radiated by the way. Oh great, great. I don't want a PvP. Goodbye. Don't touch me, please. Oh, look at that. I'm actually hitting him. I'm actually hitting him. Did you see that? Oh, look at Is that another airdrop over there? That's cool. Let's go check it out. But first. Whoa, wait. I didn't see him there. Where did he come from? Or did I just really miss him? I mean, he just popped out of nowhere, but at least this time I got to hit him. Oh, those are the guys that killed me. I wonder, uh, can I shoot them now? Oh, where is it? Okay, where's the drop? There's the drop. Cure disease. Ooh, nice. We hit a jackpot. Ooh, sweet. Alright, um, appeal, hey, appeal, there we go, nice. Okay, wait, this is the place where, there's the Robo Trade. I think that's him, that should be him. Oh, here's the cooking pots that I need. Alright, good, good. Alright, radio is playing, let me, alright. Hey, what's up guys? Check out this new outfit. Mm, I love it, the mending guy. I think I found it in this thing. Because honestly, I don't really understand where I got it from. I really picked this thing really quickly because I thought at the first start that this is my stash, but it turned out it's not. Uh, and I found this costume. 
right over here neither when I played the holotape that I found inside this thing and it was given to me cuz I don't know what the what the hell really happened I was kind of got carried away with everything and this location is by the way by that robot who's selling stuff uh, in in whatever the city is called <laughs> oh wait there is a name for the city flatwoods all right, I still haven't cooked my food and didn't didn't do anything. And besides, I'm also carrying a lot of stuff, which is not good. So uh, let me go ahead and deal with this. And oh, look at that! There's a quest right freaking here. You gotta be freaking kidding me! All right, I'm gonna do that a little bit later. All right, let me go. Let me go. Let me go and find my stupid trunk. Oh my God! You will not believe it. These Soviet Union bugs are here too. Where the hell did they come from? I just cleared my freaking rats. Jesus. You know what? Making those juices isn't such a good idea. Oh, some, some guy's store. Oh my god. Level 3. Where did he come from, man? Can you believe I'm still here? I need to go scrap because I want to do like a building video thingy and I'm doing stupid things. Oh yeah. That stupid stash is, by the way, over there. I got some food, but taking the dirty water, getting rats all the time, ain't such a good idea. Plus, look at that man, I'm injured. And, oh my god. Alright, let's put everything over here. Because, look, barely carry something, I still have big problems. And everything is because of my aid. Look at that, it's just insane. Put those blood thingies over there, put that thing there. Buff out, I don't need that. Okay, keep that. Put that there. Put that there. Healing thingy. Put that there. I don't even know what the hell that is for. Mile red chunks. Okay, that's food. Look at the these fruits are freaking heavy. Juice, Coca Cola. Okay, I'm not even using it so. Why not even put it there? Psycho, put that there. Look at that, so much purified water I'm carrying. Look how much it carries, it's just insane. I barely use this, so I can have one. Get rid of it. Put that there. Yeah, so maybe picking up everything is not a, such a good idea. Look at. Look how much all of this thing weights. This is insane. Stupid flower weights. 0 0.5. Spoiled food. Oh, I hear something walking, man. Stimpaks. What? Stimpaks, one weight. Really? Put that there. And that, and that. Jesus Christ. And I'm wondering, why the hell am I... There we go. Wait, problem solved. And and again. Oh crap! Great. I'm not even healed. Oh man. Where's that big weak point? Okay. You see, you gotta shoot him in that thing in order to hit him. And I'm about to die. There you go. Quick point. Damn. There you go. Get down, cockroach. What I need? I need a damn bed. But let's go. Event again. I'm not picking that stuff up, man. I'm focusing on junk because I want to do some building today. This is freaking insane. Till the heavens open up again and take us all up, anyways. When this all, all right, there's a sleeping I spot. Like most but the event is here. Yeah, it's here, and I'm already participating in it. But, Why waste Simpex when you can take a little nap, right? <laughs> we're still here. At first, Inside a tent. I thought it was a mistake that we was missed, forgotten. Maybe we did right. some wrong. Didn't give By the way, I'm with my paramedic suit. I like it more. <laughs> See, I in a bit. Freaking finally, man. This guy is awake. 
it took me like about five minutes to heal up from that. It was insane. No, well, not five minutes. I'm over exaggerating. Actually, it's like a little bit over three minutes. Well, all right, let's keep it five minutes. But still, that wasn't cool, was it? And we're doing the event. Nice. So those big robots, turns out, have a weak spot that I did not know about. What the fuck? Oh, come on, man. Come on. You want some? Come on, get some. What the fuck? That is the first time something explodes. Huh? Hello? Okay. And I thought I knew everything about these robots every time I'm figuring out something new. Damn. Come Detected. Alright, by the way, where and what do we have to do? Get supply drop. Oh, another supply drop? What the hell? It's right there. Wait. And, oh, there we go. Lol. <laughs> nice. Oh, so most probably you get the supply drops all the time. I mean, every time. Oh, there you go. Another one of those things. Blow up. Come on, man. Okay, you gotta hit him right there. There you go. See, now more damage. Three shots this time. Man. Come on, dude. What the fuck? What's wrong with my aim? That is not freaking possible. That it, what? Come on. These are no longer a noob. I got ammo. No problem. Jeez, the wheeze, man. These guys are just insane. I wonder why the hell did that robot explode that previous time? I mean, what? What triggered that explosion? I would love to blow up all of these guys. Oh yeah, chunk, chunk, chunk. That's weird, why am I not finding anything? I mean... Is that because I've been here before? I mean, in the first beta? They, or they reduced the amount of drop you get. Alright, I have to walk inside. Wall take duties? Say hello to duty. duty. What? Come on! That was right into him! There was no way it could have been a miss. Aluminium scrap, man. Good thing I got. You know what? I should upgrade my weapons. That's what I definitely should do. Alright. Final locked in. Takes a while for it to load. Oh, there we go. I don't. I like playing third person. Why does this stupid game make me play first person? Because when you play third third person, the aim is just freaking so bad. I mean, you saw it. What the? Yeah, it explodes inside the house. 
do me a favor. Alright, maybe I can eat something. Like food. <laughs> Before it gets spoiled. And drink some juice. Jesus Christ. This is insane. Check mark. Look, now it's telling me to walk outside. The event. Change uh, farmlands. Oh, there we go. It shows me I need to go, I guess, down. Let's go. Whoop. What up? Alright, there we go. Come on, I'll change. Oh, maybe that's why they did not attack. Remove human class from target list. <laughs> okay, I guess that was not a bug. Lol. More stim packs. Man, I spent more ammo than I freaking got. And I'm about to level up again. Alright, let's get the hell out of here and let's go finally do those stupid quests, man. It's freaking almost 1 o'clock in the freaking morning. And uh, I'm playing for about an hour and I haven't done nothing. Jesus. Because by 3 o'clock in the morning I want to do some testing in terms of building stuff. I mean, I hope I got the time zones correctly that I'm able to play until 5. Crap, I think I should double check that. Yep, now I'm gonna definitely check that. Because you see, I'm not in the Eastern time. I'm in the GMT plus 2 time. Because I live in Ukraine. Hey, hey, I got one more quest here. Uh, not far. Locate Keisha someone. I've never seen one of those before. I don't even know how the hell I triggered it. I got new quests out of nowhere. Oh yeah, I think because I was finding those holotapes and they triggered the quest. I mean, that makes freaking perfect sense. But still. That's why NPCs are way better than holotapes. Okay, what now? Optional search for her location system. Duh, okay. I guess I gotta go search that thing then. Oh man, come on. I wasn't even stepping in the water. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Lol. Collect water by drinking a little. Walking into the river. Dasa has asked us all to document our stories. For posterity, you know. Well, seems like a fine idea. So, hi. Oh, it's I part of the tutorial. Take a sample of water. Okay, well, pumps. I was in Watoka. Ah, test. Coordinating a statewide science fair for that year's high school kids. And the theme was the future of energy. After the bombs. Oh, man. Everything was pretty chaotic. Scavenging for food and fighting off rabbit survivors. Oh, it was just a bad time all around. Just for the sake of experience. I found a couple of surviving oh, let's go check out the high drop. school whose parents Man, didn't I'm missing a lot of bullets on these stupid cows. We hold up a house in town for a while. Well, oh, airdrop not here. After a bit, I was able to solder the circuitry in an old radio, and we tuned in to a broadcast from the responders. Oh, we were overjoyed. Uh, it, it most probably kind of teaches you that... It's better right, to you. the kids and drink I ran this. into a group of assholes in the mountains who stole our food and water. Completed. I can't tell you how happy I was to find the responders in Flatwoods. water testing tents, tents for everyone. In Open kitchens, medical supplies, protection. <laughs> Wait, we what the fuck? Safe. It was triggering an enemy. There 
water sources were contaminated heavily. People were boiling water, but not long enough to make it safe. So, I stepped up and I said, I'll build a testing kit to monitor the contamination and I will teach folks how to properly boil water. <laughs> and I did. The world is getting better, but slowly. We need to make sure it doesn't relapse, too. It's going to take time and care, that's all. Well, time, care, and science. This is serve. <laughs> well, boil water using. Okay, I know how to boil water. Okay, this is. Alright, this is cool. If you're gonna start playing Fallout 4, definitely do the the quests. It kind of teaches you the mechanics of the game. So first part we did like uh, armor crafting, and now we're learning how to boil and survive. Check with what? Ah, uh, okay. There we go. That stupid terminal. Look for Delbert Winters at his home. <laughs> Delbert Winters. Winter Delber. I know where you live, Mr. Winters. And I'm coming for you. Hey, hey, we completed the quest. Alright, well, I'm not gonna pause because, I mean, we're right next to it. So, why not? Rewards. Oh, cam workbench. Oh, let's do these ones. Nice. Continue training to be able to here okay what are, what are they gonna teach us to do now camps stupid Soviet Union spider okay volunteer training let's go get some meat from one of the local cows Ah, completed. <laughs> Optional, get some wood for, for fuel. I already have that. Okay, now I need to go cook. Okay, now they're teaching me how to cook. Wow, I really did not know how to cook. <laughs> that is so important. No, I have never played Fallout 4. I don't know how to cook. Brain fungus soup, <laughs> boiled water, brain fungus, lol. How much XP will we get? What does it do? Ooh, it increases intelligence for some time. Brain fungus. Nice. Ah. Ah, is what? What was that? Checkpoint. Alright, um... Oh, oh, okay, we gotta go back to this thing. Okay, cool. I can live with that. Complete training. Now what? Contact the responders using database. What database? Contact their responders. 
Alright, let's contact the responders. Log, log in. Volunteer. Emergency contact. Investigate Morgantown Airport. Find the next journal. Okay, let's stop that. Oh, level 10 wanted. Ha! <laughs> we got a wanted dude. Let's go get him. <laughs> let's go get him, man. Where is he? I'm coming, boy. I'm coming. I'm gonna shoot you good. What is that sign? Level 10. He's probably Millie, man. Well, he's overpowered. Or he's dead already. No way. <sighs> Give me the loot, man. Give me the loot. Oh no. Hi. Oh my god, he stole everything. I'm gonna shoot this kid. No, he's gonna kill me, man. <laughs> Can you believe it, man? Oh my god. That is so crazy. Fire, fire. What's up? Take that. The, what the fuck? How the hell did the dog fall through the tent? Man, he got all the caps, man. He got everything. Cool. This is cool. So probably the level 10 guy killed someone without uh, that someone accepting the... The duel, whatever, call it PvP or whatever, and because of that stupid mistake, he lost. I believe the uh, guy said it was. Oh my god, that was a long run. So, if that's the case. Let's do that one. And pause this one for now. Alright, so what I was saying. Oh yeah, screw these tatos, man. It's pretty easy to find tattoos and everything else. So I was saying that the guy made a PK. Player killer. Like, I uh, don't know if any one of you played Lineage 2 before. Uh, but in Lineage 2, it's an MMORPG, very old one. If you kill someone without that someone actually hitting you back, right? You become red. And when you're killed because you're wanted because you're red uh, you have a chance of tr dropping some item including your gear which is in that game ridiculously hard to get and by the way I never got that uh, drop and how the hell am I supposed to get if it's that far away let's try to jump and get it so yeah so probably in this game they kind of use the same system if they Ooh. All right. Oh, it's a more it's an upgraded weapon, I believe. I just got and every time I was trying to say something, something just Alright, well I have a new favorite gun. <laughs> uh bam. bam. Oh nice, I love it. So yeah. Uh yeah, so I was as I was saying, it gives you the ability to kill the guy and then if you kill the guy he can drop something for you but over there at least you can you could have cured your uh, karma because when you kill someone without their approval you become red and you have karma and the more people you kill the more karma you have and the regularly you kill the more karma you have and the more karma you have the lot harder for it for you to cure that karma right so I wonder uh, well, they have the same system here. For example, you kill someone without their approval. And then you get some sort of like karma or most wanted. Because if that happens, that would be pretty nice to have the ability to sort of clear your, your karma. <laughs> I don't know, like go personally submit jail <laughs> or pay caps, like with lower bonds or whatever. Alright, let's. Let me go to that quest and I'll see you there. 
Alright guys, and this is where we're going to be calling it the end for this episode. So, as I said, I'm taking a new approach for my new series uh, ongoing, right? And I really need your feedback if you watch this episode fully, or if you heard my message at the very start of the uh, of the episode, but you haven't still left the comments. So I'd really appreciate if you could take that one minute of your time and just type that comment. That would be superb, guys. And uh, if you want to help this channel to grow, don't forget to leave that like and subscribe if you're new. And if it's possible for you to share the video somewhere on social media, please do so. I'll highly appreciate it. Now, you have a good morning, day, and night, whatever you guys located, and I'll see you later. Bye.